So what was our goal? Our goal was to track tour attendees, because we had people we could track if they signed up. We basically say, if you want to register for a tour, go to your VIP page. That's the only way. So we can track who's coming, but we weren't really tracking who was actually attending and then leaving. And so um, we started looking at different options, like barcodes. Then how do we get the barcodes there? And then what kind of scanner would we have to buy? And, uh, and now the price was climbing, and it was like $20,000 for a system. And then it got up to $46,000. And of course, that's not going to work. So we came up with one line of code. Ooh, I was supposed to set up a bunch of other stuff, too. But I didn't. Sorry. And this is what the email looks like. And we asked people to bring it with them to the, to the tour, uh, either print it out or on their smartphone. And part of the idea also came from uh, flying and never printing out another uh, boarding pass ever. I think that's amazing, right? You have people scrambling around, and I've, I lost a boarding pass once, and I like freaked out, and the gate agent was like going to call someone because I was freaking out. But um, this is just one line of code. It's one line of code, and all it does is it needs to connect to, con it needs to bring in the information when you scan it into connect, and all we use is the Hobson's ID number because it connects it right to the record. So the same record they used to register for the tour, they're checking in on. And how they do it, let me show you this little thing. We clocked it once. We literally did 400 people in 15 minutes. And that's pretty fast. That's pretty fast. It's faster than airport. <laughs> but um, all it was was the cost of two iPods and an iPad, because we wanted to have a bigger thing. But all they do is they scan it in. We, we found a, a $1.99 program called Quafter, Q-A-F-T-E-R, Q-A-F-T-E-R. Is that right, Ryan? It was $1.99 download, download it to the, to the devices, and then it'll pick up the QR code and scan it, and it'll save all the numbers. And then all you do is connect the iPod, or the iTouch, excuse me, to um, a Wi-Fi and email the list. And then you take that list and you import it in. And then I have everything set up. You know, I have all the filters set up and the automated runs to go, and I go at night. And it says, thank you for attending. And here's a little survey. Tell us what you thought, you know, pretty cool.